Welcome to another video. We're in the Lake District. I've got big guns. Four season gear. Sorry if it's a bit windy. Reading up into the clouds and into the snow. John Snow. So hopefully, hopefully it'll snow tonight and we'll be covered in the stuff. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Let the spring do all the work. The cloud. Whoa! <laughs> I might have to put my spikes on. But yeah, them clouds, them. Look like rain or snow is coming down that valley pretty quickly, so I have to get a wriggle on. Oh. Right, I was heading up there, but it's it's absolutely enveloped in dark cloud. Looks a bit rough, so uh, woo. oh, that's enveloped as well now. Pretty much all is, but I'm going to head up to this, the top of this one here. Because it is it's coming in now. <laughs> I've probably got about an hour, if that, of, uh, of light. So that's the nearest one. So we're going to head up to the top of there and get a shelter pitched up as quick as possible. All of them not too bad, the other one was nearly a medic. <laughs> uh, uh, whoa! <laughs> you see how quick the you see how quick it's all moving. <sighs> Plenty more to go though. Keep going. <sighs> It's biting me! <laughs> to find somewhere to pitch up. Ideally I want to pitch here on this nap. But there's no views to be had. And if it does up if it does sort of up in <laughs> if it ups my tent like rips the stakes out and drags me, which you know if it if the if it gets the gale force winds you never know that it is a possibility, and then I'm getting dragged off there, I don't fancy it, man. I ain't gonna tickle. <laughs> nah. Not having me. Not having it much. It's too fierce. Too fierce, man. Not worth it. It's getting too wet for the camera. It's getting dark. I I've dropped down and lost my bearings a little bit, so the safest thing is just to pick up and this is a stone wall, dry stone wall. Tough gig. Gotta get it set up properly though, in these conditions. So I'm expecting to get my ass kicked tonight or now. <laughs> I am getting my ass kicked, what am I on about? Thankfully, oh what? I don't know if you can see me. Thankfully, I've got four delta pegs to put on the guy lines. I'm putting the pegs in on a 45 degree angle and then double pegging where I can and then I'll put the, the delta pegs on the main guy lines but I'm going to have to put you in bag mate because you're not waterproof <sighs> Don't know if this is going to... if camera's going to break mate because it's soaking wet 
Can you see me? Lantern on. Lantern deck. That got real. Oh, I'm a digit. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to crack one of them little hand warmers up. I wasn't expecting this weather. I'm prepared for it, but I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> so, get one of these on. Go oh, look. I recommend these. I'll leave a link below for them if you want. But, yeah. <laughs> these. Hot hands hand warmers. I'll leave a link below because they're amazing. Be careful though, because I've heard people say that they can get a bit too hot, but whew, if you suffer with your digits, they're perfect. Just pop them in your pocket to warm up. Um, oh my god, it's calmed down a bit now. It's still a little bit wild, but I've got behind this wall and this snowdrift to give me a little bit of respite, and it seems to be working. My, the idea was to get right on top. Uh, and get some st get some star lapses and some snow shots and that, but uh, unpredictably, um, the weather just turned on me, and so I couldn't see. It was a bit of a whiteout, and I started coming down the side, and I just ended up in a bit that I'd not been before. I didn't know, and it was just I got a bit disorientated. So I just got to the nearest spot I could that was safe and flat, and here I am, and I've just pitched up because it's safety over scenery. I could have pitched on the on on the tops and, and rode it out and up for a nice sunrise, but I don't know, mate. Safety over scenery for me. It's not worth it, is it? I'm in the uh, Hilleberg Alak 2. I've not been out in it for a long time, and I'm glad, I'm glad I'm in it because it feels robust and I forgot how robust and good it feels. So I'm very excited to be in the old Hilleberg. I've got me down, I'm, I've done all my drills, got all my wet clothes off. I've got my, oh no, I've spliced me, me uh, oh, I've got some, oh no, man down, feathers coming out, look. I'll have to, I think I've got some duct tape for that. Uh, all my wet clothes off, I've got a couple of down layers on, two down layers and I've got a, no, sorry, I've got two merino wool layers, base layers, and I've got uh, a down down trousers, down jacket, my hat, snood, and my little hand warmers. I'm in the Rab Ascent 9. <laughs> sorry, you think good enough, is it? I'm in Rab Ascent 900 sleeping bag. I've got the Thermarest Neo Air X Therm <sighs> below me, and I've got my little thin yogurt mat thing to go underneath that. So I'll be warm enough, mate. I've just got a, a freeze-dried meal and two beers to show you in a bit, but for now, I'm just going to square stuff away a little bit more and patch this little hole on my knee and just chill out for a little bit. Bit of this clobber for tea, look. Back on this gear. I like it, though. Salmon and broccoli pasta. Also, look. Them gloves do that to you. Sort it out. MSR. Pocket Rocket 2. She's not let me down yet. Torx 500 pot titanium with the lid for maximum efficiency, which is, you know, it's what we all want is maximum efficiency when we're cooking, man. And I'm going to use it for the eight minutes that it takes to cook it to warm my digits up. <laughs> and that is, that's exciting. And it's them little things, isn't it, that keep you going, like, look at this. How good does that look? Beer with Judge Dredd on it. And then I've got one with uh, this, look. Infinity Force, check. <laughs> Tokes, extra long titanium spoon. I 
love you know. <laughs> You're in here for a long time. You're in here for a long time. So let's not waffle too much. I'll maybe have a beer with you. Broccoli, pasta, salmon. I can't be, it doesn't matter. And big chunks as well, look. Oh, that's a big chunk of salmon. Nina salmon. Nina salmon. Nah. That doesn't work. I shall tell you, that's good. I've made it a bit watery. That's my only, my only gripe. Ah! Wesley gripes. As I say, I was hoping to get some good photography and stuff, but it hadn't panned out like that. And getting off the tops and getting this campsite out of the, the main wind is a really nice feeling. Because it must have been touching gale force up there. You roll a dice up here. Yeah, I mean, I check out the mountain forecast, but... A lot of the time it's wrong. Uh, and you've got to prepare for the worst. Just psyching myself up to go outside. <laughs> because it does well to... Let the wind blow it about a bit and then go out and re-tighten the guy lines. Which is what I'm going to do now. I don't want to get out of my sleeping bag, but it's a job that needs doing, so let's go. Good, good, good. I've got my feet all tucked up in in sleeping bag. I've put a compede blister patch over my little cut in trousers. Looks like it's holding well. I could just freestyle it and waffle a bunch of bollocks, which is what I think I'll do. Right, shall I do this as also as a patron only thing or am I mad? My little lantern's glowing up there. Right, come on then, a beer review. Get my, get my bulb out of the way, look at that. Judge Dredd, I believe. It's a Northern Monk Thought Bubble 2000 AD Rebellion. For those just listening, <laughs> he's pissing around with a can of the monk again. Look at that man. Can you see? Thought Bubble is the UK's biggest comic arts festival. For all you comic Swedes, there you go. It's all about comics, this one. And I think you'll agree, the can art is pretty cool. Can you see me? Doesn't really matter, does it? You can hear me. You know pretty much what I'm doing. I'm sat in a tent drinking a beer, obviously, aren't I? <laughs> I've just been out and done my guy lines and checked and it is just, you can't see your hand in front of your face out there. It's abysmal. Delectable ball bag. Right. Absent friends. Mm. Oof. DDH IPA. 7.4% <laughs> spinning headbutt to noggin. Let's do some questions then. D Hazy, undoubtedly you were in the special forces. Uh, were you in the SBS or SAS? And that is from A. Middleton. Well, thanks, Mr. Middleton. Uh, I don't really talk about it, me, uh, all that sort of stuff, mate. It's been... Out <laughs> There's rumours going around that I was in Power Rangers for about eight years, but... I can neither confirm nor deny these rumours. Dear Hazy, what is the biggest animal you think you could knock out with one punch? Uh, keep up the good work. I'm a massive fan. Yours truly, Mr. D. Attenborough. Um, the biggest animal I could leather in a wanna. What and light turn its lights out. Uh, I've done a cow. Um, I don't know, probably a rhino. 
I think probably a rhino if I... If you catch it right, if it charges and you... Which way would I slip it? I'd probably slip it that way, like out the matrix. Would I slip it like that? Yeah, I'd slip it to the right and then just do like that uppercut. So, and it's not in the octagon, well it is in the octagon, but it's like, it's a big octagon, it's about five times the size of a normal octagon. So it's maybe, I don't know, it's the size of a, like a, a tennis court, let's say it's a, like a tennis court, right? Rhino starts in one corner, I start in other corner. What, what are you wearing? Good question, not much, actually not much at all. Probably just a pair of budgie smugglers, neon budgie smugglers, and I'm and I'm oiled up. I'm oiled up because I like to because I want to cut through, cut through the wind. I want to move. I want to be able to move. I want to be slick. Um, and everyone's come to to cheer on the rhino, obviously, because he's undefeated. You know, he's 49 and 0, and this is for his, this is his retirement bout. This is for big 50. At big five oh and he starts in one corner and I start in the other and I've I'm nervous but I'm quietly confident he charges I walk so he charges and I just I'm I'm just strolling like that and everyone's like what's he even doing man he should be running or you know doing something like gearing up for it and I'm just walking like that just you know just all calm and then it Rhino gives it that Goes down and I just go. It like it's like out the matrix. I just go. I duck to the right like that. I kiss him. I kiss his horn on the way. Like go like this. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like that, and I'm just in slow. Because when they do the slow mo afterwards, this is what happens. Um, I just I sort of I bob. I duck. I kiss. And then I uppercut underneath the horn and I catch him. His eyes roll back, close, and then he just skids, falls to the floor and just skids and just leaves a big like hole about three meters long like that. And then I just go, <laughs> I go over to him and I just put one foot on him like that. One foot like that. 49 and one, mate. <laughs> Thanks for your question. Thanks for your question. Mr. Attenborough, in a zombie apocalypse, whereabouts would you go and what two weapons, your, what main weapon and secondary weapon would you use? Thanks a lot. And that's come from Mr. R. Grimes. Um, <laughs> where would I go? Good question. I wouldn't go anywhere, mate. I'd stay at home. I've thought about this. I'd stay at home. I've got a decent, I've got like, I think my house would be quite good for just bugging in. And I'd just barricade it up. I've got plenty of stuff there. Food and that. I've got, I've got plenty of axes. I've got loads and I've got too many knives if I'm honest. So I'll probably make some up like, tie them all around digits and on elbows. And just walk around like that, just slicing all my furniture. Slicing myself up, not being able to go for a wee. Edward Bushcraft Blades. Um, I'd get lonely though, wouldn't I? And it wouldn't be... No, I'd be nomadic, actually. I wouldn't just bug in. I'd, I'd be nomadic. For weapons, I don't know, mate. Just something like a machine gun, plenty of ammo, and then a sword. Secondary weapon, a sword. And then I'd have a little... And I'd have a pistol with one bullet in it, just with, like... Uh, I'd engrave something on it, like... Uh, log off. I do. Uh, oh yeah, I'd engrave Control Alt Delete on a bullet, and always have it ready. Cause if I'm backed into a corner and all the zombies are coming, where I was, where am I going? In mouth. Where would I go? I've come into a school. I'm in a big school. I'm seeing. I'm in a big school. I'm running from zombies. They've all coming through. I've slain an absolute boatload of them as well. And I'm probably the last man alive, no doubt. Slain loads of them with sword. Gun's gone. Ammo's gone. I'm just on sword now. I've got a shield. I've done know where I've got it from. I've picked it up from somewhere. 
like a gift shop or something. I've got a shield anyway, and I've sl I'm slaying them, but it's fatigued. I'm fatigued, and I'm backed into this big sports hall, and I've locked the door. And I'm in a sports hall in a school, but the battery, the banging up doors, and the doors are starting to give way. They're gonna come through, and I'm just in the middle of this sports hall. I'm like, ah, oh. if that door goes, I'm gonna get surrounded and nibbled to bits, and then become one of them slack-jawed muppets. So I'd take my little gun out with my <laughs> get my control alt delete bullet Bosch and then where would it into <laughs> no I don't think I'd do it in mouth that's too much that's intrusive it's I feel like it could go out of back at neck and just not do out I'd go into the side at noggin like that Bosch done <laughs> Oh, I'd do that as soon as there was news of the zombie the zombie apocalypse. As soon as I was just scrolling through Instagram and they were like, oh, there's been a, there's a zombie apocalypse. Dave, I'm out. This red light's been on for ages telling me that battery's going. Look at it. And it's lying. It's bloody government. True. <laughs> like that. Do some more, let's light, lighten the mood a little bit, look. Hey, hey. Let's lighten mood, let, here we go. Lighten mood. <laughs> Talking about politics, what? Here's your politics. Uh, huh? uh, politics, uh, there's your politics, mate. Politics, that, uh, hey. Let me tell you my hiking um, background. I've always been into hiking really, I've liked it from afar when I was a young lad <clears throat> and we, I would get taken out into dales and moors and stuff with my nan and granddad and we'd go on hikes and just be outside and go for walks and stuff. Picked it up, not maybe not as much as I realised at the time but n retrospectively when I look back I really did shine, like I really did like take a shine to it through their love for it, bang on about it all the time but I had cancer when I was a young lad, in my very early 20s, <clears throat> maybe 22, something like that, 22, um, but anyway, I beat it, and I wanted to do something for Cancer Research UK, so I hiked across the country, I did Adrian's Wall, and I was just a fresh-faced young Muppet, and I did it, and I got in the, the, the York Press, <clears throat> picked up the story, and ran with it and the the press photographer came and took a photo of me just as I'd got back with my boots around my neck. I'll put it here. If I can find the article or the, the photo, I'll put it here, mate. Look like an absolute mentalist with no beard and that. Real young. But doing long distance hikes and that was before YouTube, before Instagram, Facebook, all this sort of stuff. It was just, just did it because I love it. And I wanted to give a little bit back to a charity that pretty much saved my life. And I'll keep doing it, mate. I'll keep doing it until wheels fall off, I think. I know my nan and granddad kept doing it up, like in their 60s, they were still doing multi-day hikes. Um, and I'll just keep, hopefully, with modern medicine and science <laughs> and, like, steroids and that, I'll keep doing it till I'm 80. Just jacked. Barefoot jacked. 80 years old, boshing it, man. Land's End to John O'Groats, 80. Jacked. <laughs> Running it. <laughs> Barefoot. Cheers. <laughs> ah, so we're going to just batten down the hatches on this. Get me, get the baffle right round my neck. I've got, oh, let's just work them down to the bottom. I've got three, three hand warmers all at the bottom of the sleeping bag to deal with my toes. Couple in pockets to deal with organs, I guess. What I will do is maybe I'll cut to some night shots from a time when I was quite close to here. I wasn't too far away, and it was the same conditions. It was snowy, perhaps, and, and it's in a really old video, so perhaps you'd like to see them. In fact, yeah, I will. I'll show you some old night shots. So unless something majestical or testicle happens i shall see you on the morrow hold down your breath still you join the fire we'll just sit and wait till you see me fly you know they'll never catch me for it you see me fly the way i put my finger on it you see me fly you got it then try to 
Okay, all right, so we can see where we are now, this is the wall I got tucked behind, oh, it's nippy, I slept all right, there is zero condensation because I've had that, there's so many options, I had this open, which brings air straight through and I've had this open as well on both sides so there are lots of different options with this tent as far as zips and ventilation so perfect nice to be out in it again my boots are frozen There we go, I've used four of these delta pegs which although they are a bit bulky um, they're ideal for windy conditions Beautiful morning it's turning out to be I'm on the wrong side of Illo at sunrise Sacrificed it all didn't I because it was getting, you know it was getting dark and it was weather was bad so I'll be back. One of the guy lines is attached to me backpack. Just so it can't go anywhere. Pop it in. No point in my snow spikes or my axe. Goggles are out. Right. No trace. See Chapman. Let's get over this hill, mate, and see if we can see something. I'm on this ridge, and I was supposed to be on that one. On the map, I thought I was. And I've come from at the top of there when weather was too bad. I've come down this side instead of normally I would go down the other side and hit that ridge. I've come down here and I've hit this Gary Good ridge. And it was too late to, to be backtracking it. I would have been backtracking it pitch black. So, the executive decision was made. And it was the right decision as well. Just to get tucked behind here. And although I was battered a bit by the elements, it was nothing compared to what it was up top or even just at this side. In fact, there's my footprints. Ah, uh, yeah, that all makes sense to me now. Oh, beautiful look. Beautiful morning. Clacking morning. <laughs> the only downside is like, I don't, I, I was putting all my eggs in a, a sunset basket and it just didn't work out. It just got, I got, got my ass handed to me. Do I dare go for a dip in this? In a good mood, because it's a nice day. And although last night was a bit of a, a bit of a washout, this morning's nice. It's crispy cold. And a bit blustery for anything like drone work or anything like that but we've resided or i've resided to the fact that there isn't going to be time lapses and wow look at that 
Who needs it sometimes? Because look. You got things like that. Spectacular. Looks cold, mate, doesn't it? Let's go. Laugh freezing. <laughs> no ifs and buts or maybe it is chilly let's get in it i guess <sighs> barefoot challenge mate <laughs> no way huh oh feet toes shins everything it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Alright, okay. It's cold. Oh. Let's do it. <laughs> She's fresh like. All out golem style. <laughs> Here we go, mate. <sighs> brand new, brand new, brand new. <laughs> oh, yes, mate. My skin, it's like your skin is electric. Wonderful stuff. When the life starts coming back to you because you've got your clobber on. Now that is a feeling. Oh yeah man. Ring out the old sax duds. Shout out Nordic Outdoors, thank you very much. Chuck them in there. Right, thanks for joining me on this one. Sorry it was a bit of a washout and, and I didn't get as many, uh, well, I didn't get any star lapses or drone shots or anything like that, but that's just the game, innit? That's the game we play. <laughs> and I've had a good time regardless. Lovely to be back out in the Hilleberg again. Full, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Right, I'm gonna get my gloves on, warm my digits up, put you back in my bag, and we're gonna head off out of here. As always, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Oh no, I'm not even gonna do a long one of them, mate. <laughs> Be too cold, mate, feet too cold. Love you, bye.